start with this photo because I think this photo Jack Ross in Sixth Avenue represented more or less the role and position of the architect in contemporary world. We are more or less some kind of astronauts. We are very really good educated, we have great skills, we get we affronting great opportunities, but we are walking on the earth. We are walking on some kind of normal city like New York, but we are burning constantly. Some of us will go to the moon or to the, some other planet, and when we are crossing the street, we are not crossing the street, we are, other cr crossing. we are crossing in the middle of the street. So, I think this photo represents very poetically, but very rough, the position of the architect, and even my role in contemporary world. When I introduce myself, I will usually immediately show these two photos, very opposite photos. One on the left side is a dry stone structure in the island of Kirk, some 20 kilometers from my neighbor town of Rijeka. Uh, and this dry stone stru stru structure represents a very rudimentary way of assembling and creating uh, architecture. This way of very, we can say, primitive way of working uh, architecture is very, very close to my, uh, to my way of thinking the architecture and constructing the architecture. On the right side, we can see the Christian Marcus Dorsiano. When I finished the faculty in the early 90s, uh, I was amazed with this uh, photo, we can say, or piece of art. Uh, last year, I think, Christian Marcus uh, received the Golden Lion in the Venice Biennale. But in, in the early 90s, he really helped me to understand what is the position of thinker in the contemporary world. I think more or less what I did and what our ge generation did, this I think even we must be convinced that we're making some kind of collages of the different elements. We must have a large knowledge, but we are not creating something completely new. We are assembling totally different elements. And I think these two photos represent more or less what I want to talk today.